Hey guys, Zach here from AT3 Tactical. We're going to talk today about mil-spec AR-15 triggers and how they work. Why is it important to understand how the trigger works on your AR-15? The trigger has a big impact on accuracy. Basically, if you have a poor quality trigger, which a lot of the mil-spec triggers are, uh, this could have an effect on your accuracy as a shooter. So, to start out, we're going to look at the parts of the AR-15 trigger as a quick overview. This is the hammer. Here we have the trigger. In the front of the trigger, we'll be talking about the sear surface. That would be this kind of milled down area here. We have the disconnector. We have our hammer spring and our trigger spring, disconnector spring. And we have our two pins that will hold everything together. Now let's take a look at how this trigger works. So to start out, the hammer is in the forward position. And the way that you would get it locked back would be to charge your rifle with the charging handle. So we'll simulate doing that. Now your trigger is engaged. What you will see is right down here at the bottom on the front, the front of the actual trigger is engaged into a notch on the hammer. Now when we pull on this trigger here, the trigger moves down slightly and eventually it will, it will uh, disengage from the hammer and the hammer will spring forward like so. So now what will happen after this, after every round is fired, basically the force of the shot will move the bolt carrier group backwards and it will lock the hammer back and then we'll, we'll fire again. Now if you hold the trigger down when this happens, you'll actually engage the hammer on the disconnector. So the disconnector is basically there to make sure that even if you're pulling the trigger back, that after the round is fired and the hammer comes down, this little tip of the disconnector will engage under this notch in the hammer here. So watch that. I'm pulling the trigger back while this is happening. So we're locked in. Now when I slowly release the trigger, this disconnector will disengage. The hammer will actually now be engaged um, down at the bottom on the trigger so that it's ready to fire. Now if we were not holding the trigger, the hammer would come back and we would just immediately engage down at the bottom on that sear surface. So the last thing that we're going to cover is the trigger and how it can affect your accuracy and then some of the common issues that people have with the standard mil-spec AR-15 trigger like this. So first of all about accuracy. When you are pulling on the trigger you want to have a good crisp trigger break. You want to have it where when you're pulling the trigger that moment between when you start pulling on the trigger and when the hammer actually engages and fires your round. You want to have that be smooth and a and a clean break. What you don't want to have is you don't want the, the trigger to kind of be jerky as you're pulling on it, which this one is because it's basically just a standard um, kind of lower quality mil spec trigger. The reason that that jerkiness can affect your shot, that kind of jerky feeling as you're pulling on the trigger can kind of move around the barrel of your gun just ever so slightly and it doesn't take much to make you not shoot accurately. So what you want is a very smooth trigger that breaks very cleanly without any jerkiness. And the reason that many mil-spec triggers have that kind of jerky or creepy feeling, the sear surfaces are not very smooth. You know, there are ways to fix this. For one, you can try cleaning these surfaces. Um, sometimes there's some grit, a bit of uh, dirt or things from the manufacturing process. So you can try cleaning it, you can try lubricating those surfaces. In addition, you can always go with a, a, an aftermarket trigger that maybe has a, a different design that will reduce that feeling. Alright guys, that is it for our video. We hope you liked it. Stay tuned and subscribe for further videos. Mm -hmm.